thank you for watching this video and uh, today we're gonna do something different uh, today I'm gonna unbox this anti tea strainer you might ask why why a tea strainer well I like drinking coffee so I use this uh, tea strainer as a pour over so a pour over is a method to do uh, to brew the coffee so as you can see we got the instructions here some instructions if you want to look at them pause the video for a little bit we turn it around here it's just a regular box if you want to pause this and, and also see it there you go let's go ahead and open it and this box comes with two strainers this lid here is pretty solid made out of uh, stainless steel let's put it back and like, like I said there's two of these in this package so made out of uh, stainless steel put your coffee in here put it on your uh, container uh, I personally use a uh, mason jar it's pretty sturdy So this is a mason jar I use. Um, I got this idea from uh, from a, a person on YouTube. Now it is recommended that the ground be at a, at a medium grind. Uh, go ahead and open it here. I mean, honestly, I just pour in. I'm not. <laughs> I don't even measure or anything. I just kind of look at it and see. Oh, this is good enough. So I have a 20 ounce. Uh, uh, water jug that I use so I already have it kind of measured so put it in there let's bring our water here I want to pour it over for a little bit in circle motion and then uh, usually I'll wait like 45 seconds but right now for the purpose of the video I'm just gonna wait you know not that long so the reason you want to wait 45 seconds is for for the coffee to sprout so let's just wait here a little bit so I found that uh, with this method uh, it, it tastes a little uh, much better than just regular uh, uh, out of the coffee maker or whatnot Especially and and just especially because I I drink coffee my here myself so I don't want to make a whole pot just to go to waste so yeah you just let the water sip through just keep keep doing what you know just keep pouring it circular motion you know just. Head here, water. When I first tried this method, and I remember that it was like, wow, the coffee tastes so differently. But I mean, that's just me. It's my opinion. So uh, if you ever try this and it, you don't like it, well, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, to me, I, I really like it a lot. So I keep doing it. So this process uh, takes about five minutes or so, I would say. Um, if you're not patient, I recommend that you don't do this and just stick with your uh, coffee pot or uh, coffee maker. Um,
Just wait a little longer. So this is my old strainer here. It's from uh, Coffee and Tea Atlantic. It's been a good strainer. I've been having it for a couple of years now, but uh, I just wanted to buy one, an extra one, and I'm going to give the other one away. Um, so yeah, let's see um, how it came out. Let's uh, take this out of here. Let's transfer it over to my 20-ounce uh, container, and here we go. Let's see. Smells good. Can't wait. Fun. Yeah, that was real good. Okay, guys, so I want to thank you for watching this video. And I, this was the look on uh, Intai Tea and Coffee Strainer. What's well, a tea strainer? But uh, yeah, so. Thank you for watching again. Have a great day and God bless.